Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we're going to have a little bit of a look at Tech Reborn, especially the high level stuff, because I would like to build or craft the next level of um, charging for the jetpack, because the jetpack takes too long to charge, it takes forever. So the MFSU is the thing we're going to build. Well, maybe we'll also have a look at um, Better End, because in Better End there's some stuff that's quite useful. And you're behind me, you can see some of the Better End trees. In fact, there's another one over here that looks like a, I don't know, spiral. <laughs> it's quite cool. Anyway, let's get started. So here's the recipe for the MF MSSU. Uh, it's quite hard. This bit's easy, advanced machine frame. MFEs, we've already got one. And advanced circuits, we've done that. The Slaptronic crystal is a bit on the expensive side. It requires these lazulite plates, which aren't too difficult. They are just compressed dust, if you look at the recipe for that. So we need to compress these lazulite dusts. And we get that, well, mostly I've been getting it from the industrial grinder, I think, grinding up lapis lazuli, uh, giving me quite a lot of lapis lazuli plus uh, three of these lazurites. The other way to do it is the industrial centrifuge, which will do it directly. But I haven't done that recipe. I've been using the industrial grinder. It's faster. Um, the next thing, we, what else was on here? I go keep going back. Just compress it, and then we got the in, uh, industrial circuits. We've got a few of those: Patent, platinum plates and advanced circuits. Advanced circuits, no problem. Platinum plates, actually, no problem. But the platinum itself is. The recipe for that is basically one ingot. The recipe for an ingot is, um, well, we need to smelt stuff. But let's just take a blaster so we can either blast shieldenite ore or we can blast, blast platinum dust well platinum dust let's look at where we get shieldenite the uses of that one in the industrial grinder we'll get three platinum dust when we find some shieldenite ore with mercury or two with water we also get iridium nuggets here two and nickel dust and nickel's not really important but these two are um, there's another way to do it as well if you look at the recipes for Platinum dust. We can do it in the chemical uh, industrial grinder. We can do it with fusion reactor. We should also be able to do it in the chemical. Um, chemically, I've seen a recipe where you mix the two bits together, and I don't see it at the moment. Uh, maybe it doesn't make the dust. Maybe it makes the ingot directly. Let's have a look here. Chemical reactor is the one I was looking for. Recipe for that? No, I don't see it. We'll come across that later on. The so next thing. <laughs> Let's go back to where we got. This one, uh, here we go. So these are fairly expensive. We need these energy crystals. So basically, that's one stack of uh, of obsidian plus silicon plates. Now, I found a good way to get silicon plates, and that's to use quartz dust in the blast furnace. The two quartz dust and two carbon will make two silicon. Two silicon make more, make one silicon plate. So that's the process we I've been going through. It's a bit long-winded, I know. And here we can make this. We need six of these. So what I need to do is collect six of these uh, energy crystals. I only need five from that sometime. And then we can make these up. So shift it in and just bring it like that. You may have noticed I haven't got any automation for Tech Reborn. I'm, I probably should do that. Have we got enough of those now? Yes, I think so. And then we can put that into here. So these basically go in. Let's just shift in six of those move that down there and here we need the mf mfu uh, mfe so we'll take that out of where we've got it at the moment which is here you see this jetpack it really gets does charge up but very very slowly so let's just break this i just need the tool out of my box backpack so we've got the wrench here strange noises <laughs> Don't ask me where they're coming from. So we can pick that up like that. Always a good idea, because otherwise it loses its content, um, it, whatever it's got charged up. So we can simply put this into here now. Like that, and get an MFSU, and it's, the te it's a high tier machine, this one. So we can then put this down, one mm. giant leap for mankind. Okay, very good. So we need the, uh, I've forgotten which side needs to be, this one it'll be the, output side yes so it needs to go in so it goes down there so if i can do this uh, if not i turn it around actually i just put it down and then we turn it around make sure it's got the right way that and then we should be able to look at this and then we should be able to 
How much charge has you got? Four million charge. That's quite decent. But it doesn't look as though it's charging up. <laughs> Let's just try that way around. You click the face which you need to charge. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's the input face and... That must be right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, it should be working. So we should be getting power out of here. Doesn't look like we are. Ah, oh, yes, because... No. Tell you what, I'll be back in a second to figure it out. It was also night time, so I had time to go for a sleep. So we can put that in there like this, and then that's what, that should work. Because there's all sorts of strange noises. I'm not quite sure where from. <laughs> Maybe because of these items are about here. Anyway, next thing I'd like to do is to have a look at these cables. We're probably up upgrade these cables we get eight of these glass fiber cables if you look for the recipe for the glass fiber cables with ruby with ruby ore you can get three but then using two redstone six glass diamond ore will give you four with silver it will give you six and with electrum which is really not that much more expensive we get eight so we can then simply click it. i'll take out a stack of these i don't think i need more than a stack for the time being and the rest i'll leave in there for the time being um Next thing I'd like to make is a distillation tower. Distillation tower. So that was actually not too difficult. Industrial electrolyzer. We've made that already. Recipe for that one is advanced service extractors and iron plates. And of course the advanced uh, machine frame in the beginning, in the middle of that. That's fairly straightforward. Let's go back. Um, and the industrial centrifuge. The same, basically it's the same recipe with a small change. Let's have a look at the recipe for that one. So we can use aluminium plates. It's a good one because we get rid of aluminium. Because we've got tons and tons of aluminium. Uh, two advanced circuits and, uh, and advanced frames with one extractor. So we need four extractors before we even start to do this one. And the extractor by the recipe, by the way, which we need to look at next, is just tree taps, electronic circuits, and a basic machine frame. Not a big deal. So we've got those. These are the extractors, and here we've got this industrial machine frame, which we made last time, I think, or time before. Recipe for that was an advanced machine frame with ti titanium and chromium plates around it, like that. And then the last one of these was the energy flow chip. We've got quite a few of these from the from the end, as it happens. Look at the recipe for that one. Two electronic crystals, so they're fairly expensive. Tungsten ingots and iridium alloy plates. I haven't made these yet, but normally you'd make you'd have to make these before. And then you get four of these energy flow circuits in here. So we can then make a distillation tower. And then I can go and put this distillation tower down. I think I'll do that. Let's have a quick look. Um and my backpack. I've got some line blocks here. Always good for testing this stuff out. Put it down here like this. Up three. Get it on top. I can. Probably have to jump up here in order to get to the top of that to put the machine on because it might well be a, a tower. It might either be at the top or at the bottom of the tower. I don't know yet. So let's just see if we can jump up and put it on the top. Oops. This. Okay, never mind. So it's a multi block thing. Oh. And this particular case, it's upwards. So, And it's big. <laughs> so what do we need for this one? These are basic machine frames, I think. Uh, and they're not even advanced. Let's have a look at that one before we go on and have a look at the basic machine frame. The Tech Reborn, this will be a casing. So these are basic casings here, and this one looks like industrial casings. So we need one. Hard to see, isn't it? It looks like eight industrial, industrial casings. And then for, no, it looks like more than that, doesn't it? Oh, they're at the top and the bottom. So we need 18 industrial machine casings. Oh, no, we don't. Not rubbish. We need 17 industrial machine casings. So they're pretty expensive. But we need industrial machine frames for that. And from the end, I've actually been getting quite a lot of industrial machine frames. Let's have a look how many we've got at the moment. Uh, 15. So the uses of those to make these casings is this one here. So I'll need lots of chromium and these data storage cells. These aren't too expensive. The recipe for these is, we can craft it like that, but the one I've been using is this one here. But emerald plates and basic circuits will give you one of those. And you get plenty of emerald dust from the recycler anyway, so that's no big deal. 
Um, chromium plates is the one which is tough, but we'd be actually getting quite a reasonable amount of chromium. So it'd be uh, ingots, the ingots get fired in the blast furnace, the blast furnace you get this chromium dust or small piles, you can do it either way. And this one you get from the industrial electrolyzer with ruby dust. It's the way I've been doing it. Uh, you can grind it from an ingot's well, it's a bit useless because you want an ingot in the end, at the end anyway. And the rest of these are just packers. So the way I've been getting it is from here. And from ruby dust as well. Empty cells will also give it compressed air cells. Very good. So, having done all of that, I probably don't have enough machine frames. But these two here, they're all set up. That was the implosion compressor. That's to make the iridium alloy ingots. So we do need to set that up, and this is here. And these are the bits you need for this. We need 26 advanced machine casings for the, for one of these two. I forget which one it is, to be honest with you. And eight and 18 is also 26 for this one. So I'll set those up for next time. Get rid of these. Let's just get rid of this. Don't need this for the time being. And I'll just put everything down as we need it. So let's put this down into the top corner of that one. And this one, the use of the distillation tower is, <laughs> you can make all sorts of, that's stuff, what does it say here? Oil cells and empty cells will give you diesel sulfuric acid cells, 15 of those, and glycerin cells. Um, diesel cells, the uses of those in the chemical reactor will, will basically produce nitro diesel. The one of those and one of those actually both come out of there. Uh, and you can use that in the diesel generator. We've seen this before, so I'm not going to go through that again. So, right, okay, phew. hard work. But as you may have noticed here, I've actually got quite a few. I've been around in the end quite a bit. Uh, and I actually would like to show you some areas in the end which are interesting. And uh, one of those areas is in order to get these better end bits, and they're really hard, <laughs> especially... The one I'd like is these hydraulics petals. They're tough to get. Uh, the trees, by the way, you just plant the trees on the appropriate ground. So, for instance, this is ether saplings. So you need to place that on ether soil, which you'll find underneath the ether sapling trees when you're in the in the end. And here you've got this philium, ether philium, which is oh, it's BYG. Okay, I thought it was I thought it was some different mod. So they're better, and the use of this one, by the way, we can make a block or we can make white dye. A bit expensive for white dye, but we can do it on this infusion petal still here with these crystal shards. Now, where do we get crystal shards from? Let's go and have a look. Uh, I'm going to go to the end. I just need to make sure I've got enough food, and I'll be back in a second. Well, there's a couple of things I'd like to look at first. Let's have a look at this. This is the uh, end stone smelter from Better End. And these require these talisman ingots, plus some end stone bricks, which no big deal, plus furnaces. And the recipe for these, it's actually slightly, this is why we're going to make this one, is you can smelt this. Obviously, you smelt it in a, a with some talisman, oh, talisium ore, something like that, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then you can do it with this one here. So you can use two of those ores to produce three of those. These are equivalent to iron ingots most of the time um almost all the recipes you can do with iron ingots you can use this palisan sanium oh so i make one of these <laughs> probably a quest as well for that matter as a as a new recipe so we could put this down i'm not sure where i'm going to put it down for the time being we'll put it down here oh, get it right so we can put two of those in and we'll get three items out of that which is great that's a bit of ore doubling. But you can actually do other stuff as well. You can ore triple some other materials. Like, for example, in here, I've got some tungsten ore. Soda light ore, tungsten ore, and these these ones here from the better end. Tungsten ore, very good, actually. Let's have a look at this first. I have found this on mostly in caves, as it happens, in the end. And let's look at uses of this. Tell us the uses of tungsten ore. Because I believe you can actually probably do need to do this industrial revolutions minor. So that's quite neat. We must, we'll probably have to do it. I'm not sure how we do it yet, but we'll next time, I guess. So in the industrial grinder with water, you will get two of these. 
um, fluid infusing. This is the one you actually get three. So you get three purified. This is um, you can see this is 60 millibuckets of to toxic waste. But in here you can get three of these. Oh, that's not probably better. So the uses of it, shouldn't I? So you grind that up and you get three tungsten dust. In the industrial grinder, you get iron dust and magnesium, magne manganism dust. And we don't really need that, to be honest with you. You've got plenty of that, but only two tungsten. The uses of tungsten is, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. This is, oh yes, this is what I was thinking before. The industrial electrolyzer. Tungsten plus an empty cell will produce a wolfram cell. The uses of wolfram cells, you can make iridium ore and you can make platinum dust. So you need beryllium and lithium. Lithium, <laughs> a lot of recipes today, quite hard. Let's have a look at the, the recipe for lithium cells. From clay, it's not a big deal. You can get plenty of clay and you'll get a lithium cell. You'll also get silicon cells, which is also nice, and sodium, which is also good, and aluminium dust, which is not no longer needed, but there we are. And this one here for the beryllium, recipe for that, oh, because making the fluid replicator, we haven't got that far yet. You can use ender pearl dust, will give you nitrogen one brilliant, or you can use ender pearl dust. So, ender pearl, sorry, emerald dust. Uh, ender pearl dust is actually not that difficult because we've got to the end, so it's pretty easy to grind enderman. <laughs> That's pretty easy. So, let's go and have a look at one more thing over here. I'm slowly running out of time because I've been talking too much about stuff, haven't I? In here, you will see these. <laughs> what we need to do is we go down here and we we pick these. And I think I was pick, picking them by accident. So let's just get this out of my hand here like that. And these are hydroluxes, and you find them in caves. So you just take your oops, got a bit more. I think I've been using a silk touch like like that. When you do that, you get four petals. And I've also got three saplings. The saplings only grow at this height. So what height are we at the moment? Oh, I've turned off my mini map just a second. Let's just turn my mini map on again. 66 and abo above. They don't grow any lower than that. So you can plant those again. And oh, I didn't show you what you have to plant them on, did I? You have to plant those on sulfuric rock. And they will grow up, as you just saw, and give you these, these petals. Now these petals, these are these petals. I think we should have a look at it before. Was in here an in infusion uh, pedestal, and then with this we're going to have an enchanted petal. These crystals we'll also find in the end. We'll do that next. And the use of these ones is for books, so you can get Aqua Infinity, you can get Bane Anthropods. So basically, all the enchants, channeling, and the one that I was looking for. It's not here yet. There's nine pages of these. So you need them basically for everything. Flame, Fortune, Frostwalker. So this is another way of getting enchanting, which is what... Infinity, sometimes it's a bit strange how they do the text on those looting. There's one I couldn't even read what it was because it was too long. Mending. The mending, we just need bottles of enchanting, an anvil, uh, and these petals. And lap is really not really very difficult. And so on and so forth. So you see multi-shot. Oh, they're all level ones. You have to make a lot of these before you actually projectile projection. Well, you really want protection, don't you, rather than protect. And that one's made with turtle uh, shells. That's interesting. I've found a few of those in, in, when I've been traveling around. Uh, this respiration one. Okay. As you can see, we get riptide. And basically, I think this is all of them. So to do this, you need all of these stuff. Let's go to the end now, and I'll, actually, I will, I'll actually we'll go through the, the the long way to get to the end. We'll go to the end city first, and then we'll go through the portal. Uh, I might need to grind an enderman. I'm not sure if I've got any ender pulls on me. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, I have plenty. I need one of these. Let's go through here. We want to go to the end. Okay. And then, oh, it's a bit of lag. There's actually quite a lot of lag in the end. And I need the portal. And the portal's over here. You can see I've got a little, a little bit on the, a little bit on the mini map that shows you this. Well, while while we're here, we'll also mine up any of these ores. So this one here, silk touch, or excavator, illustrating. They're only, they're only small. They're quite small veins for that. 
or where am I? Oh, here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I've oh, just trundled along here. I've got my jetpack with me. I'll just put it on. You never know. I don't want to fall into the void. And if I'm falling into the void, it'll take me too long to recover. Um, I guess it, I might die in the void and then you lose all your stuff. Don't want to do that, do we? Let's go along here. And where we landed, we came out here. This is actually crystals. These crystals here. Are the ones you need so i to do with these uh sorry let's have a look or i can't pronounce this or our crystals so you then take your fortune pickaxe or you probably can take your silk touch pickaxe doesn't matter much. take your silk touch you get the block you take the you take your fortune you get these so i get five of these crystals for the fortune three plus my um scarf i think i got those the wrong way around last time um and dragonflies. So let's go and find the waste and I think I've got a waste turn around about here somewhere. Let's have a quick look on the map. I haven't got much charge, so uh, if I haven't, what we can we could actually do is put down the waste turn down here, couldn't we? So let's do that. I've got some in my backpack. And then we can go directly to where I want to go to next without having to travel. Um because my, <laughs> my jetpack's not really well charged up. So let's have a look at that. So um, in my backpack, I've got three waste stones here. Always good. You don't need to carry them because I've got the materials in here in the dank. I've got ender pearls and I've got um, stone. So let's just put this one down here. Uh, I think if I put it here, it would probably be this. Oh, I can put it here, can't I? It's the safest place. And we'll call this one the... Uh, End gateway. Like that. So now what we can do is we can go down and we can find the one I want to, which is called Sulphur Springs. If, in fact, if you're not sure, you can look at on use your um, compass. Get it out. I think I should have the compass in here. Oh, I haven't got a compass with me. Never mind. Shame. I have got a, a known. <laughs> entity map here um which we could use well I'll probably just leave that here if we find it we put it into our offhand it'll be fine i didn't bring a biome compass with me which is a shame so we could quickly go home actually i'll quickly go home and get one and i'll be back in a second now oh, i've got my um uh just look for sulfur springs the so sulfur springs here my biome locator let's just have a search for it so it gives us, oh, it's not very far away. So let's just write these coordinates down because there's probably more than one. I'm going to look over this one while I do that just in case an Enderman gets in front of me. Um, so it's, I want to do a point, don't I? So let's just do a point. So it's minus 640. Uh, the coordinates here are 800. Okay, and we'll call this one Sulphur Springs. Give it a color. Um, I think I'll do it as gold. I think I've done that last time, but it seems like a good one, to, doesn't it? So there's two. Let's enable them on the map. Let's just enable the waypoints on. So there's one 500 blocks away there, and there's one you can't quite see it, but it's 2,000 blocks over there. 500 blocks. We should have enough power to do that. Let's just do it. And while you get traveling along, you can see some of the amazing trees that they have <laughs> in the e in the end. And what does happen is this: I'm having hovering here, and you can't see anything for a quite a long time because it does actually take quite a long time for this. And these are sulfur springs; they're not the ones we need yet. I have to wait for everything to come in, so I'll just have a look at the water. Uh, while that's coming in and I'll just have a pause until the, everything's loaded up again well it looks like we've been unlucky I don't see what we need maybe the one that we need would be over there let's just fly over there um, they need to basically have these bubbly bits in them uh, 
from the vents and the, they don't seem to have any vents. I'm going to be watch carefully, not watch them, Endermen. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to have any here at all. So we can just come down here and put down a waystone. So I've been a bit unlucky here, so let's put down a waystone here. Um, I'll do that and come back in a second. So here we are. This is the original one I found. Let's go and travel to that one. Because this one's, as you can see, this one's will be a lot bigger. And you get these portals, and we can, these are travelling portals. So let's just have a quick look on the map here. Let's go up. And you can see there's quite a large area of these. And the ones we're interested in... <laughs> I can't see them because it's all... Are these here. And you should see sort of smoke coming out of these. Yes, there you go. And what you need is your jetpack. Actually, strange enough, you need your jetpack for these. Go down to the bottom of these like this. And get down. I'm having a bit of difficult. There we go. Because you can't swim down here. <laughs> That's the problem. You can't swim. Oh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Like that. Can hear Enderman. This is what this is one of these um vents. These and these self vents will send you up to the surface sometimes not all the time but here i've got to be a bit careful because i've i probably have built a tunnel already um in this particular case it's not that one let's have a look at the map just break a hole basically into the side and then we we can then breathe from that one so let's just do that here go in a couple of blocks here like that go up one block and then we get our air back again Actually, I don't see them in here. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, and you can, you can see there's quite a lot of them around here, th these areas. I mean, you can normally tunnel between the two. If I come back, back here and look on the mini-map and zoom in on it, because it's a bit small at the moment. So there's one in this direction over here. So let's go and mine my way over to that. I'll, I'll mine my way over to that, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Well... <laughs> I'm here now. I have to go the other way. And these things are very aggressive. You have to watch out for those. Just get the sword on them. There's a fish here. Don't worry about the fish. The fish won't do any harm. But these do. These are hurt. I think they hurt anyway. I think if I can get to it. You kill them and you get a drop. And if you kill a fish, you get a drop as well. So they... I didn't kill the fish. It just happens. It's there. You can't really see. Let's go down here as quickly as we can. Um, I, should, I should have some tunnels around in this one. Yes, that's a tunnel. You can get rid of this crystal, uh, these crystals, no problem. I, I think they hurt if you land on them. We'll just go down here into another space and have a quick look. As you can see here, I have been tunneling around. But I can't see any of those Hydrolux um, plants in here. And I couldn't see them before. And you can go around through various bits in here. Then there's not very much in terms of danger here, um, except for these push to the surface. And I'll show you what happens when you get into the middle of one of these. Oh, I need to turn off my jetpack first. <laughs> you need to move to the middle of it all the time. Uh, where am I? Where's the middle? Here we go. There we go, there's one of these. Because it's more than one actually, there's three of them. Get out. Wait for them to come up again. There's a fish there. Oh, there's two fish in this case. You can actually catch the fish or kill them. Oops, there we are. I was waiting for him. <laughs> All right. So between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the pedestal uh, for very easy as it happens for the better end enchanting or crafting i'm also going to set up those uh, distillation tower because we've done all the bits now so we don't need to see any more and the other two machines and find some space in our base to do that so until then i wish you all the best bye for now